All your music, jingles, news items and so on will appear under the various tabs in the library. On the right hand side of the screen are two cart stacks. These can be used to play any audio from your library, but in most cases they are used only for jingles, adverts and news items, which need to be started and stopped instantly. Items added to the cart stack can be played as many times as you want and will remain there throughout the session. It's best to have the play mode in the amber or semi mode, where you can play them not only by touchscreen, but also by using the green red start and stop buttons. To play a particular item from the control surface, make sure the orange arrow symbol is illuminated on that particular item and then press the relevant green on button. Fader 7 controls cart stack A, whereas Fader 8 controls cart stack B. To play music, you can line up your songs in the large rectangular area of the screen. Although this doesn't necessarily have to be in order, the top song will be the one that's played. To rearrange songs, you can drag them around using the mouse. To play a song, fade up the fader for playlist A or B. It doesn't matter which. There is a number on the right-hand side of the track details after they appear in the music playing area. This represents time before the singing starts in seconds. If you want to speak over this part of the song with a song playing in the background, use the fader to bring the song in quietly under your voice. This is the only time you're likely to use a fader part way between fully on and fully off. Once the song has started, a yellow progress bar will appear to again represent how long before the singing starts. If there's no number, it probably means the singing starts straight away. To listen to a song without going on air, you can preview it. Select the preview button. A window will appear and you can listen to whichever song is highlighted through your headphones. This will not interfere with any audio currently playing out on air. Once your library is organised and your mic level set, you are ready to record. Return to the coloured button's default setting by pressing escape. The red button should now be labelled record. Press the red button and a new small window appears called quick record and the green button will change its label to PGM mix. Once you press PGM mix, recording is started and everything that happens through the control surface will be recorded. Once you've finished, press the red button again. Your finished, but unedited file, will appear in the bottom left-hand window of the screen. It is really important to rename your recording at this point. If you want to listen to your raw recording, press Escape button to get back to the default settings of the coloured buttons. Select the yellow library button and click on Local tab. You will need to press the Refresh button on the left-hand side of the Local tab. You can then search for the first letter of your file name by entering it on the computer keyboard. When you found your file in this local section, it can be played in either the cart stacks or the music playing area. To edit your file, return to the quick record window and highlight your file. Click the edit tab and your file will appear in Audacity in a new window. After editing, your file is best exported to the desktop as a WAV file. Note that if you save your file to the desktop, it will be wiped once the system is turned off. If you have finished your work on the recording for that day and are not going to turn your file into a production, make sure you've saved it elsewhere.